This example that I want to do is example four from the lecture notes uh, dealing with a boatyard producing boats. So as before, we want to break the pro uh, turning the problem into uh, a mathematical problem down into three steps. First, we want to find our variables. Second, we want to find our objective function. And third, we want to come up with the constraints. And then we've got it in a, a, just a, as a system of inequalities and a function we want to, f want to find the maximum or minimum of and then we can solve that. So in this video, I'll just do the process of turning it from a paragraph into a mathematical problem. So, uh, if you have the notes in front of you or consider the, uh, the description below, um, <clears throat> the boatyard produces three kind of boats. And if we go down to the last uh, sentence, it's asking us to find the number of boats of each kind that will maximize the annual profit. And so the boats, the number of boats of each kind is something that the boatyard is looking to adjust up or down, so those are going to be our variables. So we have our variables are going to be the three types of the numbers of the three types of boats. So so variables are going to be, so let's let uh, let's see um, let X be the number of cabin cruisers y be the number of racing sailboats and z be the number of cruising sailboats So these are the, uh, the variables that we're interested in and the objective function will be a function of these variables. So secondly, we want to find the, so the objective function we can read off where we're looking to maximize the annual profit. So the, so the objective function will be profit as a function of x, y, and z, the number of the three different sorts of boats. So that's p, x, y, z be the objective function. And looking at the problem, the net unit profit on each kind of boat is 5,000 for each cabin cruiser, 4,000 for each racing sailboat, and 6,000 for each cruising sailboat. So we could write it as so per cabin cruiser, we could say we've got $5,000 profit. But that takes up a lot of space. So what we're going to do is we say profit will be in terms of thousands of dollars. So 5x represents $5,000 per cabin cruiser manufactured. Uh, and likewise, we have $4,000 per racing sailboat manufactured plus uh, $6,000 per cruising sailboat manufactured. So this is in uh, thousands of dollars. So it's just a matter of keeping things simple and not cluttering up with too many zeros. If you want to write this as 5,000x plus 4,000y plus 6,000z, that's perfectly okay. Okay, so now we need to find the constraints. So constraints. So two of the things that we need to, to look at, uh, if we're looking at the problem, there it says because of space considerations, the yard can finish no more than 25 boats in one year. So number of boats in one year has to be less than or equal to 25. But the number of boats in one year is going to be the number of captain cruisers plus the number of racing sailboats plus the number of cruising sailboats, which is just x plus y plus z. So we have x plus y plus z is less than or equal to 25. Um, and I should point out, profit here is annual profit. 
annual profit. And these are not just numbers of boats. These are numbers of boats in one year. Okay, so everything is in terms of each year. Okay, the second constraint is that the working year consists of 48 working weeks, and we pair that with the information that the boats take. It takes two weeks to build a cabin cruiser, it takes one week to build a racing sailboat, and it takes three weeks to make a cruising sailboat. Thus, the second constraint deals with the number of weeks to produce boats is at most 48 and the number of weeks to take the boats is two weeks per cabin cruiser and one week per racing sailboat and three weeks per cruising sailboat so if uh, two weeks, one week and three weeks for the th different types of boats respectively, that has to be less than or equal to 48. Now we can't make a negative number of boats, so we also have to have a non-negative, uh, non-negativity condition on x, y, and z. So put all these together, well, our mathematical problem is to maximize the function P x, y, z equals 5x plus 4y plus 6z subject to, and we've got our two constraints here, plus our non-negativity constraints. So we have x plus y plus z is less than or equal to 25, and 2x plus y plus 3z less than or equal to 48, and x, y, z are greater than or equal to zero. And from here, we can then proceed using the algebraic method to, to solve this optimization problem. That's all.